morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. I hope everyone is doing well. It is Tuesday, and so today I'm going to do something a little different, and I think I'll carry it forward for a long time. I'm going to attempt to make my videos 10 minutes or less. Um, so today I'm actually going to talk about um, how to use what you have experienced in life to your benefit. So those who, those of us, which is everyone on the planet, who have experienced trauma or emotional injuries understand that it has been because they have interacted with someone who has torn them down, made them feel less than, made them feel unworthy, made them feel as if they're not capable. And so now that you are an adult, you are capable of deciding who you hang around, who you interact with, this is a time where you can use what has happened to you in a different way. So instead of associating with people who tear you down, who sustain your smallness, or the feeling of smallness, the feeling of unworthiness, surround yourself with people who are uplifting. Hang around people who are positive in their own life because that which you observe, you tend to take on. And so those of you who tend to hang around people who kind of are negative all the time, they have something negative to say about something, this is what this person is saying, this is what that person is saying, this is, you know, they're saying something about this person, how this person is dumb, or this person is stupid, or this person did this, or this person did that. Instead of hanging around individuals who do that and sustain darkness, attempt to associate yourself with people who are uplifting, people who are looking at the positive things in life. And I can understand, for some of you, it seems like people are living in the clouds. I'm not talking about that. I'm, I'm not talking about people who, who are completely miserable and they're putting on a facade as if everything is okay. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who are successful. I'm talking about people who generally are happy. Uh, I'm talking about people that you enjoy being around because they're so pleasant, because they're so positive because it's calming to be around them. These are the people that I'm talking about. So as you start to decrease your association with people who tend to focus on negativity, focus your attention on people who focus on positivity. Focus on people who are about moving forward in life. So if you feel stuck, associate, your, associate yourself because you, everyone knows someone who is successful on some level or another. It doesn't matter where you are on the planet. You can be in Ethiopia and there is a person who is doing more than the average person in, in the community or the village or the city or whatever. So they're out there. I mean, this can be someone who you um, you see at the gym. You know, you see, hey, wow, this person is really motivated. You could be the person who's just starting to work out and you see that this person is like always on track. You're like, wow, the person's so motivated. You know, I'm so tired, but I see that they keep going and going. These are the people you want to reach out to and become friends with or get to know. And I'm not saying you have to accept all that they are, but what I'm saying is being around that positivity will rub off on you because it's something that you're observing and we do become our environment. We become our environment, which is why so many people are broken because so many people come from broken homes. So many, so many people come from uh, lives where, let's say they're going to school and it's just a bad school. There's a lot of crime or there's a lot of uh, abuse going on. If this is part of your life, well then this is just part of your life, but understand that you can change that. You're an adult now, like you have the power to dictate how you want your life to go, where you want your life to go, the direction. It just These are the things that I'm talking about. So this is just another way to love yourself, to put yourself in, an, in a, a position and in an environment where you can thrive. If you're not in a place where you can thrive, then that is an automatic um, message and sign to you and for you to remove yourself from that and align yourself with something else. Now, it's very difficult for someone to just you know, be cold turkey and like, I'm not talking to these people anymore. That's difficult to do because you're gonna have some guilt associated with that. Um, and that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a gradual change. Dip your toe in the pool for, uh, as an example. It's like, um, you know, try it out for a little bit. Try hanging out with someone that is different than your norm here and there. 
don't just stop talking to the people that you're talking to, you're going to get a lot of backlash. But as you become more comfortable with being around positive people, with being around people who you believe or feel to be enlightened, as you become more comfortable with that, you become more comfortable leaving the other alone. And this is a natural transition. It's something that's not forced. It's just a natural transformation of the soul, something that the soul desires to experience more than the old. And this is just one of the ways that you can easily change the way you feel about things. Because if you're always having anxiety, if you're always irritated, agitated, angry, frustrated, annoyed, it's because of your environment. It's what you have created for yourself based on what's within your soul. And we'll get into that later. But as for now, let's focus on the external because that's what most people come to understand as their life is the, is the physical external things that they experience. So if you can manage to do that, you can use your exterior to change your interior instead of the other way around where and I find that a lot of people are they have lived their life based on the physical alone and then they try to do all this internal work but it's so difficult because they have no experience doing internal work because all the internal work that was done was a lot of trauma and it was being done without them even knowing about it so they were focusing on their external so if you focus on your external as an adult just as you did as a child you allow your internal to change. Why do you think you have all the emotional injuries that you have? It's because of the external influences that you have experienced in your life. And that is that is what has changed the your soul. And so let's keep with that trend because it's what you know, it's what you're familiar with, but allow the internal change to happen. Understand that the feelings, the desire to be around more positive people or positivity is something that is within your soul and that's the transformation that's happening. Some of you have a desire to be, or be around that but you don't feel that you're worthy of being around such people who are positive. And that's understandable too. However, if you stick to what you know which is allowing the physical to dictate your reality, if you allow, if you change your exterior, you allow your interior to change. Now at some point, some of you will get to a, a place where you're able to just change internally and you don't need the external things to help you along. You just simply become one with your being and you automatically change your exterior. It's the other way around. And this is just the difference between the power of the soul and the power of the mind. So until you can, until you can understand the power of your soul, you're gonna have to use the power of your mind to change your soul. You're gonna have to use the same tactics that have been used upon you you're going to have to use these same tactics on yourself in order to change who you truly are. Until, like I said, until you can master the soul, your soul, and the power in it, that way you'll be able to change the exterior just with your soul alone. But for now, you're going to have to use your mind. There's no other way around it because if you don't know about your soul, then you don't know about your soul. So that's just you know one way to uh, love yourself more than you have. Um, one way to change one aspect of who you are and uh, that's it so I hope you guys have a wonderful are you gonna let me in you're not gonna let me in I need to get over so thank you all right so anyway have a wonderful Tuesday and I will talk to you guys later all right bye now